I'm Avril and this is Aaron. We're going to just briefly introduce ourselves and tell you what we're doing here. So um, my name's Avril Duck and I am a theatre maker and a teacher and I am here with Aaron working on True Friends. I'll cut to, cast it over to you. Hello. My name is Aaron Lee and, I'm a, and I'm a, I am a playwright. I have written a play called I'm a True Friends. All right. And uh, so could you tell us, first of all, um, a little bit more about yourself? So well, you're a playwright. I What's was, special about you? I was uh, I was born. Uh, I, I was born on the twentieth of December, nineteen ninety three, uh, and I was born b- b- born with a um, retinopathy. What's that? I what? am a I am a eye sight condition, but basically with, with my right eye that doesn't work, but but the um, left eye does work. Yeah, and it's uh, got a. It's a good reason for asking that question because that's going to come into the discussion later on when we discuss accessibility and so forth. Um, all right, so True Friends, what is it now, Aaron? What do you think True Friends is right now? How would you describe it? It is about friendship. Yeah, it is. because and there's following your dreams. Yes, it is. <laughs> and um, and at the moment, uh, it's not in production yet, is it? No. But we've done some work on it. Um, it it's a full length play, right? Yes. Did you always know that it was going to be a full length play when you started writing it? I thought I wasn't going to turn it into a play. I thought I was going to turn it, basically turn, but to turn it, turn it into a movie. Is that when you started it, you thought it was going to be a movie? Yeah. Hey. Um, and is it fully finished yet, Aaron, do you think? No, not, no, not yet, but I'd like to, yeah, but it, once I, uh, once I done the stage play, yes, I'd like to turn it into a movie and um, have it filmed and go to Adelaide and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I mean, you know, it is, it's, it's in its full length and the actual shape of it's the story is complete, right? Yes. Um, I'm going to go, my job in this is I'm going to go back and tweak things like full stops, like grammar. Okay. I mean, it, it's all grammatically correct. Just there's uh, an absence of full stops in some places. So that's my job. I'll do the full stops. I don't see why not. <laughs> and, and so that's the sort of phase it's in now, in its written phase, and just needs some um, dusting off with the full stop situation. Yes. And, but we haven't put it on yet, have we? No, but but we did do a creative development version of of the play, and we and we basically and, and we basically. And we basically did did but did 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 a performance of it at the Ark Community Hub. Yeah, that's right. And that was uh like over six weeks. Yes, we read the play, then we broke it down. These are with community actors from Tropical Arts. Yes, and we we yeah we read through it. We broke it down, we analysed it, we made sure that, you know, is this a play, is this the structure of a play? And certainly uh, we were able to demonstrate the structure of it very clearly and everyone was as, as enthusiastic as I was pretty much about going forward with it. Yes. Um, and then 
you and I subsequently have been trying to develop things by writing grants and stuff. And um, and then we didn't get a grant. Were you okay about that, Aaron? Did you have a shed a tear or have a moment of anger or upset? I was basically looking forward to getting the grant, but it didn't work out for me. I was Well, but did you were you really upset or did it just kind of wash over you? It just kind of washed over and And I think that was because we like prepped it, didn't we? We were like, okay, we could not get this grant. That's quite possible. So what is our alternative plan B situation? We're always in the plan B. What's next, aren't we? Yes. So about today. We got to go on a tour to the to the con theatre to, to, to meet Erica and see the theatre, but I can't climb up onto the ladders to get into the bio box because of my bad eyesight. Yeah, but I'm yeah well, I mean, because that's another, yeah, sorry, I broke in there. Um, but that's another thing about you. You're not just a writer, but you're also, you've done acting and you like doing the technical side of theatre as well. Yeah. Um, so you, being in the bio box is, is part of the, the buzz, right? Yes. Um, and so, yeah, the I think it's called, is it called the Conservatorium Theatre? The Innisfail Conservatorium, yes, and it's a theatre. Yeah. It's a community theatre run by a community theatre group, I think, and, um, and yeah, so having a look at community theatres, you always find a very interesting level of access, right? So do you th- – did the stage – was the stage accessible? Yes, you have to climb up a few stairs uh, and there's also a wheelchair ramp at the side of the right stage where you can put a wheelchair through. Yeah, it still needs some accommodations, but it would work, right? Yes. Yeah. So, 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 so I'd like to say thank you to Erica for letting us do that. Thanks, Erica from the con. Yeah. And um, But then the bio box, yeah, as Aaron said, it was like right up a ladder. So you would have to walk up a ladder and ladders are – not easy for you. No, I don't want to basically misjudge a step or else that's it. Uh, I would have to go to hospital if I basically fall down. Yeah, I like the sound effect though. Can you do it again? Or if I do basically, if, if I do basically misjudge a step, that's it. I would fall <laughs> down and, and I'll have to go to hospital. Yeah, well, I don't laugh. I'm not laughing at you going to hospital. I'm laughing at the sound effect. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, so today's tour was started at the con and we did that with Erica. Yes. Thank you, Erica. And it's just so nice. I wish Tropical Arts had a theatre space. I wish we had a theatre space. But anyway, that's another set aside. And their stage was great. Um It didn't have a crossover, so you couldn't walk around. Uh, You could actually. No, you had to go through doors and crossover. It's a bit like uh, the the CPAC theatre. But um, then, yeah, sorry, then where did we go? We went off to the... um, Innisfail Shire Hall. Oh, man, that's a beautiful place. Yeah, did you find it beautiful? I loved it. I enjoyed the big, I enjoyed the big... Oh, yeah, right. It was so big. It's massive. It's just like this massively long auditorium with polished wooden floorboards and archways and curtains. It's like gorgeous. So so, so I'd like to say thank you to him, Kath, for him letting us see the hall. Yeah, and both Erica and Kath were so enthusiastic about the project. Um. Now, accessibility talk again. So going onto the stage at the Shire Hall not, was not really good for wheelchairs, right? No. But you managed to get up there, no worries? Yes. Okay, because it has handrails. So steps up, but no wheelchairs. But then accessibility for the bio box. What do you think about that? What do you think about that? Uh. In the actual con theatre or the- The Shire Hall. If we can 
so so if, so if we could so, so so if we can have one long table with sound and lighting, that that would be great. I'd like to yeah, have it's one. kind of like a pop up, isn't yes, it? Yes, a pop up. Can we have one long table, please? With- yes, and it's like a pop up because the the you plug in on the floor. Yes, like she lifted up these little. Hatches, hatches, yes, and um, and then you can use you you can plug in your equipment from there. Yeah, um, yeah. So you could that was completely accessible then because it was on the floor. Yes. Uh, so that's pretty cool. So it's interesting, you know, the, these different layers of accessibility. What's accessible? What's not accessible? Um, yeah. So what w- this is going into now to the dream future. Of true friends. So, do you see either of those spaces as, as better than the other, or you know, what, what's your? Could you see the show being on either of those stages? I could basically see the show at the um, Herberton Shire Hall, but I'd like to have the um, chairs out the. Uh, yes, I'd like. Yes. I'll just hold you there for a second. You did say the Herbert and Shire Hall, uh, and I think you just got my head into my head then, because that's where I grew up. Uh, the uh, uh, the Innisfail. No, no, don't worry, Aaron. Though, that's uh, part of the fun. Let's see. This is our conversation. Let's see the. Uh, let's see the. Uh, Innisfail Shire Hall. Yeah. Yes, I'd like to have the show at the Innisfail Shire Hall for them second show at at the Con Theatre. Can we please have a? Big chemist setting with with um, aisles, please at the con theatre. Yeah, so the chemist setting for those who are not in the know about True Friends <laughs> is um, yeah. where yeah. the first yeah. half of the show kind of happens. It's based around this chemist shop. Yeah, which is pretty cool. Um, called Chemland. Yeah, yeah. and. Um, yeah, so, yeah, they're definitely, but do you find it, do you think it would be strange to have the show in two places in one small town? No, but I'd like to try Yeah. it. Uh, I agree, I agree. And um, what other dream future do we have going on for True Friends? So we've got this beautiful set that we're imagining, which has got a chemist shop in it. Uh, and we've got two venues in the one small town. Yeah. What else we got going on for future dreams? Let's see. Uh, take it regional. I want to go all around Australia and, uh, and, uh, and, and of course, turn it into a film. Can you imagine all of the community theatres we could go and see if we took this regional Tour around Australia. Yes, I want to go all around Australia. I would like to, uh, yes, and then try and turn it into a movie, have a movie production company, make a movie version. Mm hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but what about the actors? If we do go on this big tour all around Australia, I don't want to stress out all the original cast. I'll have to basically have. I basically, I'll, I'll, yes, I'd like to. Yes, I'd like to have re- replacement cast, so I don't stress out all the original cast. I love that idea, and you know what? It kind of brings me into my um, dream focus, which is like, so if we go to regional Australia, we could have a program that puts together all of the, you know, so we have those, if we have th- like three professional actors who travel with the show. Yes. And then the rest of them are built in this in the place. So they spend like two weeks or something developing that community cast yeah. for the show. And so it's a program as well as a show. Yeah. And then the cast, the community cast is from the local town. Yeah. What about what about what about basically backup actors so the main professional actors can of can of have their breaks and that I don't want to stress them out. Good idea. I want to have backup actors and more backup. Yes, I know, right? This just it's I I like the way that you think. You know, you you go like just make sure it's it's cool for people. Don't stress people out. I like that a lot. Yeah. 
Yeah, because I mean, and I think that's one of the themes that we really um, are exploring in True Friends is is the, with your writing. You, you know, you're about these two friends who support each other and support each other on that very emotional level too. Like, if you're stressed out, how does somebody say calm down um, without you know, in the right way? Yes, and and we we see that all through um, True Friends where the friends are supporting each other in that way. If someone gets stressed out, the other one's like, no, nah, it's cool, it's chill, let's do this, just relax, take some deep breaths. Yes. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it's it's about ambition too, though, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, what do you think the ambition that those – who holds the the ambition? Whose idea is it – I don't want to – no, we, we can't give too many spoilers away, can we? Aaron? Yeah. Do you reckon we should? I don't want to spoil it. No. Sorry, I was going to go into the plot, but I'm just going to not not go into the plot. No. Okay. Um, all right. Well, basically talking about supports and systems, uh, we support each other in this project, don't we? Yes. Um, what do you reckon my job is to support? Artistic director. Mm-hmm. And what do you reckon your job is? Playwright and I'm an actor. Yeah, but when you get down into it, like what jobs do you do and what jobs do I do? You, A, keep the motivation going. Yes, communicate. Communication. <laughs> this is no kidding. <laughs> it's like, excuse me, we got to get some things happening here. But you give me enough space, but then you don't stop. You don't, you're not, you know, I love that. I love that. It's like really helpful because otherwise I can get very unmotivated if I'm the one always dragging people to something. But you're in this process, yes. you're the one who's like, come on, let's go. So, so, so I'd like to basically crack the whip <laughs> and, of course, basically breathe down, breathe down your your neck. Yeah. Mm. Excuse me, is there a sound effect? Uh, is there a sound effect that goes along with cracking the whip? No, I'm just but- Just wondering, Aaron, if you have a sound effect of the whip I cracking. have, I have got a- I think I'd like to, I think I'd like to basically get a whip sound and anime and basically put that into- Put that in the post production when we. Okay, so you, know. you do it. You oh, do an okay. action, and I'll sound effect it. Okay, you ready? <laughs> <laughs> Two more. <laughs> that was only one. <laughs> <laughs> um, and me, I'm the driver. Today, I'm the driver, and I do all the kind of. Uh, like special wordy letter writing. Yes. Um, and you go online and you grab things and put them in our. We've got a shared um, drive folder, and so we build all this stuff together. Aaron's like the kind of techie side of things, and I'm like the wordy side of things. So, um, it's a good good match. Yep. We're getting to be true friends, right? Yes. <laughs> Okay. Thank you very much, Aaron. Okay, thanks, Avril. Thanks, Melissa. Thanks, Arts Nexus Studio. Well, that was hella by Aaron Lee. Yeah, this is my Wait till Melissa gets this ready again. Why, hello, and welcome to the True Friends Podcast, a behind the scenes podcast of True Friends, a play by Aaron Lee. I'm Aaron, and this is my co-producer and true friend, Avril Duck. Yeah. Well, thank you very much, Aaron. I'm Avril, and as we go through the process of producing True Friends, we want to give you an insight into the hard work, effort, and passion, the real heart and soul behind this new theatre work. 
This podcast is going out to our friends, families, and supporters, theatre people, people with a disability, and just about anyone who wants to hear the best parts of us. That's Aaron's insatiable curiosity. And Avril's radical everyone is a... This episode is going to be a unexpected journey. So we're going to rewind you back. (laughs) That was a nice one. Can you do that again, please? That's rewinding back to the start of the True Friends journey with a discussion about how Aaron wrote the how Aaron wrote the work yes. and then up to the sort of first beginnings of responses to it. Is that part of the podcast now? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yep. So shall we just keep going? Yeah, let's just keep yeah. going. All right, so Aaron, can you take us back now and when we think about the start of the True Friends writing frenzy, uh, you were doing a course at ARC Disability Services and what was that course called? Story Writing Program. That's so, that was from the ARC Arts Program. Yes. What, uh, what year are we talking? 20 something, I'm not sure. 2017. 2017. Yeah. Somewhere around about there. Could it be early, like 2016? Yeah, I think so. Not sure. All right, so somewhere 16, 17. 17. And so there's a story writing program. Yes. So did you choose that or was that just going to fit into your day or did you get really excited about it and go, yeah, yeah, I want to write stories? I got to basically choose the program. Right, so you could have chosen something else, but you chose story writing. Yes. Had you written stories before? Yes, I have during free time at um, uh, ARC Disabilities and, of course, during the computer programs at ARC Disabilities. This was basically when I was at the um, uh, ARC Hub. Now it's the ARC Community Hall. Right, so you were doing... Just writing stuff, messing around in your own time in different programs. Yes. Uh, and doing them on your computer? Yes, on the computers at R. Because handwriting is not a big thrill for you. No. No, I like handwriting, but you're not really fond of that stuff. No. Um, so, um, you got this, you've joined into the writing program. Yes. And then who was running that program? Liana. Right. So we've talked a fair bit about Liana, Aaron and I, um, because really she did a lot of inspiring, didn't yeah. she? And, and we're going to further, you know, we're going to try and reach out to Liana where she is nowadays uh, because she's not in Cairns, is she? No, she's in Sydney. Right. So we're going to try and reach out to Liana so she can... I don't know. Well, well, so we can, I guess, ask her about the beginning of it and also thank her. Yeah, and of course, yes, I'd like to try and get her on the podcast if that's possible. And I want to say thank you to thank thank you to me, Liana for inspiring me. I want to get her on the podcast so we can talk about this. All right. So going back to you're in the work, you're in the writing story, uh, writing. story writing group. Yes. Um, is everyone doing story writing together or are you doing it all sort of separately? Doing it separately. Everyone's doing their own individual project. Now, how did you come up with this uh, concept of True Friends? Did you have it? Did the name True Friends come immediately to you? Another support worker who I can't remember the name taught me to think of a title and I and she said... Why don't you call it True Friends? And you liked that idea. Yes. And 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 how did she... She must have looked at what you'd written already. Yes. Um, and what was it that you wrote first? Did you write, write a play straight away? A story first and then I decided to write a play. Okay. And so you're right. So you've, you've now got this play. Now I understand that... Immediately, you weren't writing on 
uh, play writing software. Script writing software. You weren't, yeah. So initially, you didn't you didn't have script writing software. So what? How did you come about to get into the script writing software? Nature Liana helped me to research different types of script writing software. And so, which one did you choose, and why? Write a duet mm-hmm. because it is free, and I can basically yeah. work. From the cloud and right, yeah. Okay, so you've got this writer duet, and you're pumping into it. So did you just translate your stories from wherever they were and put it straight into writer duet? No, first Liana helped me to think of the opening scene, and she done acting 